Today I'm going to show you five different ways to save water even if you already have a water saving toilet. So the first way is based on the overflow. So I'm going to measure how much water that go to the overflow. So let me show you how. You know, I'm going to have a Coke bottle here. I'm going to start refill. So I drop this down. So it will start refilling. I'm measuring how much this refill is. Okay, so it's about like two liter. Alrighty. Now, now continue. So now it says stop. So it's a two liter plus this much, maybe one liter. So I'm going to pour this into the toilet. I'm going to drop, this is a one liter. Now it's the second, my normal level is here. Now I'm continue pouring the water, it will be wasted. The water will no longer risk higher, it will be just wasted. So I'm wasting something like a two liter. See, this water will be wasted. I really don't quite understand what you're talking about. The water come in two paths. One is coming here, go to overflow. When you go to the overflow, it will go to the ball directly. The second path, it go to the inner tank. Those water goes in the tank, it's not wasted. But the water going into the overflow is possibly wasted. How much water went to the overflow is three liter. The three liter went to the ball, but when you pour the three liter, it will not raise higher. It went directly to the drain. So that much water went directly into the drain without helping you flush. It's a waste of water. So what's the purpose of that small tube that goes straight into the overflow? Because if you don't have this overflow, this water level will be too low. There are two problems. Badly smell from the outside can come in. That's one. Second, if you have a solid and it's dropped here, it will stick on the ball. It's hard to clean. Those are the two reasons. So in other words, water that goes into that overflow tube is what actually ends up in the toilet bowl after but a flush while you're refilling when you after you finish the flush the water drop down completely and you are starting refilling process that refueling process has two paths one go directly to the tank the second go to the overflow water went to overflow will end up in the bowl. The water that went to the tank is saved there for the next flash. Right, but the water that comes from that overflow so tube is what goes into the bowl. The bowl, and it could be wasted. And what determines how high it goes in the toilet bowl? Because there's a U-shape there. If it's a water higher, it will go over to that U-shape and went to the drain. Okay. So that is not something you can control. It just right. is the way it is for each. Yeah. Unit. The way to fix the problem is it's just very simple. Make sure this doesn't aim to the tube very accurately, but with an angle, it depends on your experiment, how much water you want to split between the tank and the overflow. Let me show you the different angle. See, when you have this angle, the some go to the tank, some go to the tank, some go to the, the overflow. Another way is to use a, just a regular paper clamp and loop in here so it's very secure. You push this down and this will divert. See how well it can divert? You can also bend the tube to restrict the flow. The second method to save to you adjust this, this lever and push the floaty down. When the floaty is down, the water level will be lower. If it's not enough, you can twist this down and move the whole thing down. But usually I find this can be adjusted. So adjusting this to be lower, the height of the water will be lower. This is a different way to, to save water. It's just a flash less water. Another way is I just put a, a Coke bottle here. So this effectively 
reduce the weight of the tank. Therefore, you also have a less water in the tank. So either height or waste. The fourth way to save water is use the adjustable flapper. When you move the dial, it can control the time between the flapper is open and the flapper is closed. And watch my other video to see how exactly it's done. Fifth way, this is a little bit more expensive to have um, two flash. One is half tank, one is a full flash. Watch my other video. I'm going to give you the best instruction to convert your regular toilet into a dual flash toilet. Okay, what makes this the best? Most people are scared of installation because the instruction doesn't tell you how it works. And today I'm going to show you not just the instruction and let you know how it works. This is the dual flash. See on the top is a quick flash for liquid and this is a full flash for solid. And let's uh, look at what's inside. If I press this in, I can actually take this off and I will measure when I have a full flash, it's this length, and I have a quick flash, it's only half inch, come out only half inch, and the full flash coming out one eighth inch more. 